All right, we're going to be playing Duck Hunt. This is the CRT man here, and I'm doing a Let's Play on Duck Hunt. On the NES, using the um, 1987 Radio Shack 16-251 trash pick CRT television. Freaking awesome. Oops. All right. Now, one bad thing about my gun, you have to get right up to the screen just to shoot. I mean, watch. This is far away from the screen. Nothing. And this is a freaking 1987 TV with a normal screen. But, what the... Alright, but if you get, like, right up here to the screen, you freaking shoot it. Because so pretty much, you're going to win, whether you like it or not. Or you're going to lose, whether you like it or not. Now, this game was released on the Famicom in 1984, but on the NES in 85, I believe. And, yeah, I'm using the orange zapper. And the funny part about this game, if you actually move the joystick, the other person moves the joystick, you can actually control where the bird's going. See, I'm doing it right now. I'm lonely like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. Alright. Okay, so now that I just won, it'll just go on forever. So, let me just reset the console. And show you the two duck versions. There's one duck, two duck, and clay shooting. Oh, sh... How did that happen? Usually you shoot to, um... Usually you shoot to switch the next one. There we go. Okay. Two ducks. Oh, what the... That was stupid. Let me get up to the screen like I normally do. Like I said, it won't work if you, unless, unless you get like this close. And it's on every TV I use, too. Whether it be a 1990 Zenith, a 2007 Dynex, or a 1987 Radio Shack. No matter what freaking TV I use, besides an LCD, you have to get close to the screen. So, yeah. It, and if you don't, you lose. Let me see if I can control it with a joystick and see... Oh. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I think it's the gun's fault, because other people's guns, they don't... They're not so bad. But mine, just... Look at that. That's far away from the TV. Not gonna work. This TV was made... Around the same time, the Nest even came out. January 1987, Nest was October 85. Okay, so we're going to reset it and do the clay shooting. I don't want this video to be too long like my Super Mario Brothers, which was friggin' 25 minutes. I'm really sorry about that. No! <laughs> friggin' glitch where it doesn't do it. Um, why can't I scroll down? Usually you have to shoot to scroll down. Let's try it now. Oh my god, no! Am I going to be able to show you the clay shooting? Oh, there we go, just press select, okay. Clay shooting. This is pretty hard for me. Let's do it. Well, unless you don't... If it, It's really hard if you don't get up to the TV. Oh, really? Oh, you, I forgot you can keep shooting it. Nice. My gun makes a little springy sound, too. And there, yeah, a little springy sound, too. It's kind of cool. Oh, ran out. Yeah, pretty good game. And I'm not sure if I'm mistaken, but I swear it was an arcade port, too. Probably on the Play Choice 10 in 1986 or something. Hey! I'm not sure if there's too many Let's Plays of Death Hunt on YouTube. I'm pretty sure there is, because it is a popular game. But you got to actually film the TV. I don't have any sort of screen recording equipment, so... Yeah, my Let's Plays are all filmed live. 
on a real TV or computer or, or whatever you have. Yeah, so that's pretty, it's pretty much the same thing, so yeah, there you have it. Um, great game, highly recommend it. If you don't have an NES and you like retro games, try to pick one up. They're not too expensive. This game is extraordinarily common. Yeah. Also, freaking awesome TV. So you're going to turn this off. And, yeah, thanks for watching.